So many people get burnt out and they get tired because they're not even being themselves. They're just doing what everybody else is doing because that's the thing that's going on or that is accepted at that time. It's okay if it's, it's cool if you want your life to look cinematic sometimes, but if that's not your everyday, it's going to exhaust you because you're putting in extra energy to portray yourself or your life as something that is not. Hey y'all, my name is Gabby. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I was gonna do a whole like sit down type of video on this topic, but I just figured, hey, you know, I'm talking about aesthetics, so why not we just, you know, get into it. Just got on some shorts and a big shirt that I slept in, you know. I wasn't feeling well this morning, so I had some soup. And, um, you know, I ate it out of a Tupperware bowl. I mostly drink water, so water bottle and my son here eating off his board you know nothing fancy since we're talking about children when you have them especially little ones their stuff seems to get all over the place this stroller right here taking up all the space in the living room packing plate right here in the living room that chair there's nowhere to put that so we just put it on top of the treadmill when it's being not being used but i mean i kind of get it though especially as a woman now that so many women have entered this era of femininity where women want to slow down and live a soft life and drink water out of wine glasses and pour their smoothies and mason jars and have flowers around the house i've tried some of those things it does make you feel high standard makes you feel more clean makes you feel more organized like you got your stuff together like it's a very elegant feeling i get that but it's different when you when you actually live your life that way like when you live your life that way I don't think you really think about it. You're just living your life. But when you try to make your life look a certain way, just so you can say you have a certain aesthetic and put it on social media, I think that's where it becomes a problem. People have got so sucked and warped into this thing. Things have been a trend, at least for the past two years, for sure. Where, I don't know about guys, but women for sure decorate with nudes and white. And I got to a point where I was like, ooh, I want to get white bed sheets. I want to have white pillowcases. I want my room to give like a hotel vibe. And I was really on this. Like I hadn't got to a point where I bought anything, but I was really starting to think of more stuff that I wanted to get. And there was one day, I don't know, last year this girl was like cleaning her couch. She had a white couch. And I think I was sitting on my couch. And when I saw her clean that white couch that day, it's like something went off in my head and was like, you don't want that. My son was being super loud, so I had to reset the tone in here. So yeah, somehow I got swallowed up in this whole idea of living my life according to a certain type of aesthetic making my living arrangement or situation fit a certain type of style. And the craziest thing was that it wasn't even me naturally. I saw what other people were doing and I loved it. And I tried to adopt that for myself even though it wasn't me. You know what I'm saying? Like that wasn't me. I love that for them. I love that for y'all, but it's not me. I'm not trying to look back on my life and think about how I did things just because everybody else was doing them and I wanted to keep up with what what else was going on around me. As long as you like how it feels, you like how it looks, just yeah. go with it. Just go with it. So many people get burnt out and they get tired because they're not even being themselves. Yeah. They're just doing what everybody else mm -hmm. is doing because that's the thing that's going on or that is accepted at that time. It's okay if it's, it's cool if you want your life to look cinematic sometimes, but if that's not your everyday, it's going to exhaust you because you're putting in extra energy to portray yourself or your life as something that is not. Like, we're eating off paper plates right now. Because I'm sick of running this dishwasher. <laughs> so we're eating off paper plates. I need a break from washing darn dishes. Oh, but that's not aesthetic that I'm eating off paper plates, though. It's not aesthetic that I'm drinking out of a plastic cup. But I don't like glass cups. I like plastic cups. So that's what I drink out of. But I don't call that an aesthetic. That's just, that's just the way I like to do things. Like, why we can't 
why can't we just see things in the way we live as things that we like to do? And that's why I think this whole aesthetic thing is just so fraud. Because aesthetic is not a lifestyle. It's something that we create. And I'm just tired of seeing it and hearing about it. It's like you can even tell when you're shopping online, especially when you're shopping in the stores, you can tell that they create certain styles. Even when you're buying baby stuff, the colors that they pick, the way they design the items, you can tell that they're doing it because they're trying to fit a certain style that they think appeals to people. And these things and these colors do appeal to people, but I just don't get what's so cool about looking like everybody else and doing what everybody else does. And now the way social media is set up, we know everything that people are doing. Like I will never fail to be amazed by the number of people that get in front of their camera in their draws and be like, get dressed with me. <laughs> okay. You know what? I'm going on a tangent. But it's just like, we're so involved in people's lives. And some people really live like this. But the rest of us are just being copycatters. Like, when has it ever been cool to be a copycatter? Never. And another thing is the amount of things that people want to fit this certain aesthetic. It's like people want their lives to be aesthetic, their friends, their homes, their relationships. Their clothes, their food, I mean, every single thing, like their whole entire existence has to be aesthetic. But why though? Why? Who is it for? Because if it's for you and that's your lifestyle and that's just how you live, then that's just how you live. There's a difference between a lifestyle and aesthetic. And to me, aesthetic is just fake and it's just for everybody else and for you to feel good about the pictures that you've created. I don't know, maybe it's just me and I'm just not into that sort of thing. Like I definitely want things to look good. I want things to look a certain way, but I don't live alone. That's a big factor too. You can do whatever you want when you stay by yourself or when you're a roommate. But when you have other people around you that live with you or that you take care of, it's not just about your aesthetic. You just live your life and you live it with your family in the best way that you can that's good for all of y'all. And it just is what it is. You try to make everybody follow what you want to do and it's going to be a stressful household. I don't know. People going to do what they want to do. Whatever that is. I was just trying to understand. I just had to get this off my chest because nobody's talking about it nobody's talking about it not from what i've seen anyway and it's just ridiculous it's just ridiculous and for me to see myself get wrapped up into really believing that i wanted something that i did did not like was mind-blowing to me how many people got refrigerators like this do people do that anymore do people do people put things on a refrigerator anymore probably not i don't know <laughs> i don't care but this is what we do and this is what we like over here. Anyway, that's it. That's it for this video, y'all. Y'all have a blessed day. Until next time and peace and love. I'm out.